Because what Westminster are doing is providing the apprentice with an opportunity. So it's a way of nurturing new skills and bringing new talent into the organisation. Um, we have to appreciate that apprentices are also on a training scheme as well. So all the time they're learning from experience at Westminster but also learning through their college day which Westminster is committed to. The, um, the apprenticeship scheme, it's, it's a great scheme and we recognised in HR and in my team in particular uh, there was work that we could get an apprentice um, to get involved in and to do and so we were quite keen to get someone involved who wanted to work in HR and progress in HR um, so that's when we found Kofi um, and so I actually managed Kofi um, and his work uh, at Westminster. It differs in that the apprenticeship actually, the apprentices actually get paid whilst they're here with us and learning. Um, but certainly we give them a wide range of tasks so they've learned as much as possible whilst they're here. Um, we've We've tried as much as possible um, to give Kofi a, a training um, on everything from, say, entry level Microsoft, Word, Excel, Outlook, um, to how the council operates, um, and as well other core HR principles as well. We've asked our apprentice to work in all parts of HR, so we're giving them wide experience across all the teams within Human Resources. So they're doing essential, meaningful work, but also we're giving them exposure to perhaps more complex meetings um, because we want to give them a wide range of experience. From helping us to prepare like legal bundles for our, our cases, um, taking minutes at our meetings, um, but because he's a bit of an IT whiz as well, he's helping us out by developing some online training um, for our HR policy. So that would be something that will be rolled out to managers shortly, which is exciting. One of the things that we're very keen to do is to ensure that our apprentices come in and perhaps challenge some of the ways that we've been doing things in the past. We're appreciating the fact that we live in quite challenging times within this organisation and it's very good from the manager's point of view to have somebody coming in with new skills, new ideas, perhaps things that they've learned at college where they can challenge the way that we do things and perhaps look to save money through that. I would definitely recommend the scheme. Um, the the enthusiasm that Kofi brings and the energy, um, it, it's quite contagious, um, which is, and it's great to see. So, and definitely whatever we give Kofi to do, um, he gets stuck in there and, and does a really good job. I would recommend this scheme to other managers because it's a way of ensuring that we get extra resource coming in. All teams within HHR, in common with all teams across the council, have reduced in terms of staff numbers. Now this is a way for, we pay apprentices in the region of £90 per week, but a part of that is a training commitment and to come in and, and do meaningful work. So I, I would really recommend that managers take advantage of the apprenticeship scheme because it is a way of bringing in extra resource and fresh ideas and nurturing new talent. Plan to give as much planning, as much organisation as you can um, to what your apprentice will do. Um, wide range of tasks and all, also varying levels of tasks as well. So assume um, that they may not have worked with the same computer programs that we have, um, be that you know Outlook or Word or Excel, um, or they could be IT wizards and then just need to bring up to speed with how we work at the council. My advice would be that this is part of a wider HR strategy of giving managers opportunity because in difficult times what we should really be doing is looking at all opportunities of bringing extra resource into the organisation and so the apprenticeship scheme is just part of that range of opportunities that HR are looking to introduce into the organisation.